Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I am looking a little worse wear this morning. I have no makeup, fresh faced, hair desperately needs a wash and I have no tan on. So today is gonna be a bit of a pamper day because I have, tomorrow I'm going into Manchester to shoot with Lydia and it's forecast sunny. So I'm gonna plan out my outfits. This is like typical for like the day before we go shooting. Plan out my outfits, decide what I'm gonna wear and shoot tomorrow and then with that in mind, lather on a load of tan. I've also just had a text to say I'm getting a delivery from Iconic London today, which is exciting. I don't know what they've sent me. I think I might just go in with the good old Samaritz, but this is medium. I kind of wanted a dark one. Let me see if I've got a dark one. Hair mask wise, I'm gonna go in with, shall I use this one? By Maria Nila or Coco and Eve. Let's go with the Coco and Eve one. This is, you kind of wash your hair, then you put this on, then you leave it for like five, 10 minutes and then rinse it off. I've also got a load of, randomly, uh, bananas that need eating and we're not gonna eat them all. So I might bake some banana bread later on today. So I thought that could be quite fun to vlog. Just so you can see a before and after. <laughs> I leave it probably for about six hours maybe to develop into a nice bronze glow and then I'll wash it off in the shower. Can you guys see that? I have a friend, but I don't want a friend. So this is how my outfit planning situation is happening right now. So what I like to do is just lay out the outfits so myself and Lydia, we're going to make use of the weather tomorrow. It's forecast 25 degrees in Manchester, so I have so many summer outfits and content that I want to shoot, but we've just not really had the weather for it. So finally, woohoo, I've got this short suit, which I love. I'm obsessed with this. This is from Pretty Little Thing, and the white ribbed body under it is misguided. I have a Primark straw bag, and then I have this short suit as well with a little black, bandeau this is from the boohoo recycle range which i did a haul for that suit is pretty little thing as well and then this outfit feeling very summery this also is from the boohoo recycle range with like a straw hat this is zara and then these shorts from misguided this i actually got i think from pretty little thing last year i don't know if they still have it but nasty girl have the same one and then this outfit keeping it neutral i'm thinking ending on this outfit we're going to grand pacific for lunch so i just want to keep it fairly neutral with just some denim shorts these are like a turn up denim short from pretty little thing again fairly new in not worn these yet with a little pretty sleeve detail crochet crop top with a nice sweetheart neckline and my YSL Lulu bag. All I need to do now is like plan jewelry and then I also need to plan shoes. Okay, ingredients are ready. Let's just preheat the oven. 180, uh, get my loaf tin. Where is it? Now this could be a problem. <laughs> Can't find the loaf tin. Um, if you just search Kirsty banana bread this morning, it will come up. But I've got my four very ripe bananas, a couple of eggs. I like to add my own little bits, so baking powder, chocolate chips, light muscovado sugar, butter, self-raising flour, vanilla extract. I'm just gonna go with this and see how we get on. That was my iconic delivery at the door. Right, back to the next thing. This is the sort of texture we've got at the moment. It's kind of like breadcrumbs. I actually don't like to over mix the bananas because I like when you have the hot fresh banana bread and it's got little chunks of banana in it. So I just kind of half mix it so it is soft, but that you do still get a couple of banana chunks in there. Like so. I'm just gonna add this to the mix. A 
Okay, so now we need three eggs, salt, and vinegar. Salt and vinegar? Ew. Salt and vanilla. Smells delicious. And then, doesn't say it in this recipe, but I'm just gonna add a bit of baking powder as well. And I might need it with this tin, considering it's not even a loaf tin I'm using. I can't believe, I don't know where our loaf tin's gone. I'm gonna have to add it onto list of homeware things to buy. Seems fairly runny, the consistency, compared to what I've done before. I am also just going to add some chocolate chips because I have a super sweet tooth and I quite like chocolate chips and banana bread. Do I just add it all in? Yeah, let's go for it. Woo! I was going to save myself a couple. One. It says bake for 60 to 80 minutes, but because it is shallower, I'm going to keep checking up on it because it might not take that long. Let's be honest, is this not the best part? Mm. Everything is now tidied up, so I thought I would open this little iconic London parcel. Ooh, it's the, oh, I didn't know they did brow products. The brow silk kit. Nice. This is what the packaging looks like. It looks like a little toothbrush almost. It's so funny. I've never seen anything like this before. Do you know what I think this is? Directions, use wet or dry brush brow groomer. Yeah, it's like soap brows. If you ever see that soap brow trend whereby you can kind of like brush them up and it holds your brows in place, I'm definitely gonna be giving this a try. This is typically how you would do soap brows, is get a toothbrush and a soap, a bar of soap, brush it in like that, and then like brush the hairs up, and it just helps hold the actual hairs in place. I'm excited for that, but yeah, I'll show you the banana bread once it's ready. We are 30 minutes in. Oh, it's looking pretty ready already. The house smells incredible. It's pretty dry. Is that ready already? Okay, I'm gonna put it in for another literally like five minutes and then I think, I think it'll be fine. The presentation isn't the best, but I'm gonna put that down to the fact that the, well, I didn't have a loaf tin, so. This is it after I did put it in for another sort of 10, 15 minutes. And I'm just gonna grab myself a Nespresso. Let's have one of these. taste test. Pop a little bit of icing sugar on the top. Mm. It's very moist. Mm. I've just got a bit of a chocolate chip in there as well. Delicious! Good morning beautiful people! One second. <laughs> It is a gloriously sunny day, 25 degrees today, hence the little crop top short combo. You can't even see because of the light. I'm off to Manchester. I'm meeting with Lydia. We're going to shoot a couple of outfits and then we're going to go for a nice lunch in the sun. Tom's around today, so who knows? Barbecue, sitting in the sun at some point this afternoon. We'll see. By the way, I use my iconic body illuminator and OMG, love it. turn the music off i'm so close car park is just there so bit of traffic look at this glow from this iconic london product on my legs okay i should drive <laughs> they're after you please <laughs> we have arrived with lydia very nice outfit you've got on nice to go 
enjoying the sunshine already and it's only 10 o'clock, oh, literally, not a cloud it's in the sky. It's actually a beautiful day. I'm kind of fancy tomorrow. a barbecue tonight. Oh yeah, and we had one at the weekend. Did you? I've not yeah. had one yet. Yeah, it was nice. Oh nice. Right, yeah. so we're going to shoot it's a It's good because I don't have to do a thing. Yeah, I know. Like Tom just it. takes charge. Yeah, so much better. I think, I think they enjoy it. Hello. <laughs> I think they Hi. enjoy it, don't they, boys? Oh yeah, Tim loves it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in focus though, it's so bright I can't even see. We are just heading to Grand Pacific where we've very kindly been booked in for a business lunch on the house. So they've, I think they've got a new menu, is that yeah, what they were saying? business lunch menu is what it's kind of called. So we're going to try it, see what we think. We love Grand Pacific anyway. Just soaking up this vitamin D to be completely honest with you, aren't we? <laughs> I said just soaking up this vitamin D to be completely oh, honest yes. with you. We just saw Beck. Hi, Beck. Hi, Beck. Hi, Beck. And here we are. Grand Pacific. Triple A. Credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the interlay. 24 twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying on Will Shop Boulevard. Oh. Right, so we are thinking for the starters, we've yep. got three favourites. We want you to choose the two. Yeah, okay. So either the sesame crackers, pea and sesame crackers, the spiced tomato and beetroot tartar, or the steamed chicken wonton. So two of those. I go for the beetroot tartar and the chicken wontons. Okay, fab. And then for the mains, again, we're thinking between katsu chicken curry, yep. teriyaki beef, and the pork cutlets. Oh, right. So I like the teriyaki beef and the pork cutlets, but I do think the katsu curry is a lot different to the other two, so you have more of a range of... Yeah. Well, whichever you... I'd go for the teriyaki beef and the katsu curry. Let's do it. Let's do that. Thank you. Well, I... I'll go in with the chopsticks because Lydia doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad he ordered the same. in in the dark, weightless, working hard. He wants you to return his love. Been recommended this peanut butter. Mm -hmm. hard. Just a little tiny taste. Mm. It's like peanut butter ice cream. Mm. Mm. We've got two coffees on the way. Oh, okay. Thank you. Coffee's nearly here, and then parking. Parking. Yeah, and then we're just gonna head back to the car park then. Yeah, we're gonna get another shot. Oh, I thought you meant shot. Oh. Oh, it's a oh yeah, we've been having shots all day. What would be your shot of choice? If I have to do a shot, I really can't do that. I like tequila. Oh, I hate tequila. Don't tell me you're a Sam Duke. Oh no. It's kind of hard. Shut it's up, fuck from the road. I just don't like any the strength. Mm. Yeah, no, I like the it. it's horrible. I don't like the Yeah, it would be really nice. probably do like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Have a shot back or sour please. Okay, bye. Hello. We're all done. No, go on. It's <laughs> fine. Hi. Hi. We're all done at Grand Pacific now. Just a quick toilet break before setting off back home. It's a shame that our parking ends really because I wouldn't have mind looking in Zara sale. Lunch was delicious. It's two courses for $14.95. Let's get back out in this 25 degree heat. Woo Whew, it is hot in this car. 
omg how cute is this top by the way it's from shein if i can find it linked no if i can find it online i'll leave it linked i just think how cute the sweetheart neckline is and the sleeve detail anyway en route back now well just about to set off i'm gonna get my audio book at the ready i listened to the pretty little thing podcast with sarah ashcroft en route and now i'm gonna listen to michelle obama's becoming me because that is this month's book for book club let's have a look and see what the temperature is in this car right now yeah 29 degrees let's get this aircon blasting and get home i might even have a couple of hours off and just sit in the sun for a bit because why not when the sun is like this we need to appreciate it in this country home sweet home tom's already taken the mick out of my hat oh yeah oh sorry i like it zara right well tom suggested a hike suggested a hike up pendle now so i'll get my gym gear on and let's go eh let's do this i'm gonna have to get some kind of top on so i don't get a tan ah. Looking well brown. Well, I've told you I don't mind putting a bit of fake tan on you, but you say no. Because I'm a boy. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or girl. Do. do you want to be tanned? Not fake tan, it's rubbish, is it? Oh, it's not rubbish. Do you not like this then? You look good. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. You don't even want to look at the state of this house right now. It's very messy. Not good. Ooh, hate it. So, we have picked ourselves up some meat from the butchers, as you saw. We got ourselves some barbecues. They were on offer uh, three for six pounds. So, we're going to get that started in our garden area. And then my banana thing. I've still. <gasps> Tom's had loads. Oh, that's good because otherwise I'm going to eat it all. We've got our banana loaf for dessert with some strawberries. We've got some salad leaves. They're on offer at 67 pence. Some strawberries to snack on. Again, reduced to 134. These to snack on whilst our food's being cooked. Olives. Manchego, is that? Oh no, Gouda. Gouda. What's that film? Channing Tatum, where he goes. Um, where they say, if you don't know what to talk about, talk about cheese. I like Gouda. Aubergine, my favourite vegetable. Is it a vegetable or a fruit? Has it got seeds in it? I think it does, so maybe it's a fruit. And some Diet Coke, which again, we're on offer. And big fan of the Diet Coke. So, that is what we're going to do. I'll show you once it's all cooked up. But for now, I'm going to have to get cleaning on this kitchen. Also, we've had loads of spiders recently. What's with that? With the weather, you think when it's cold outside, they come in. But we seem to have more since it's got warmer. I don't know. And Chef Tommy. Ooh. Oh no, what have you done? Oh no. Is that your one? Three second roll. Is it marinated in anything? Yeah, salt and pepper. I think. Not as in my actual salt and pepper. Well, what is salt and pepper then? Oh, no, it's like it. Like chilli pepper. <laughs> um, what have you done with the nectarines? Jarred them. Is that the aubergine as well? Oh, you haven't done that yet. Well, this is our little salad situation at the minute. Salad leaves freshly washed and then look, char grilled peach, olive oil and tomatoes. I mean, Tom is the chef, if it were me, you'd have a salad leaf, some chopped up cucumbers and tomatoes. And that's probably about, that's the extent of my salad. Who knows where I've got this bargain mirror from? Do you know? B&M. Close, not B&M. Oh, no. Yeah. Can you guess how much it was? Cheap. <laughs> of course it's cheap, but how much? Five oh, 5.99. I'll let you have that one. Here we go. I love aubergine so, so much. Cannot wait for this. So I'm going to sit outside and enjoy. Delicious food. That's Tom's hay fever. This is our spot for the rest of the night. We're going to Netflix, find a film, 
Watch Love Island in an hour and 45 minutes. What kind of film are we fancying? Tom likes rom-coms. Come on. I need to get lots of some of these emails actually. Just go. <gasps> yeah, that's what's No, on. there's nothing to see the first there. one. There's more than one? Yeah, there's loads of it. Talking about the Terminator that they've just added. It's a no for me. Oh, what's this? A Netflix film. Anima, a short musical film. Never mind. Oprah Winfrey's done one of those things about when they see us now. Oh, I think I've got hay fever now. Today is Sun. No, it's not a Saturday. And I'm heading off to watch Tom play cricket today. I'm going via Burnley Primark. So it's not the biggest, it's not the best Primark, I'm not going to lie. But I wanted to pop in and have a look, see some new in bits. And I am working with them again over on my Instagram. So whilst I'm there, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for some summery things for when the weather is as warm as it is today. Hence the hat and the hair. I just kind of wanted to show you what I've done with my hair. Ugh. So I put some gel and hairspray on the top to like slick it all back so any flyaways don't come out. And I'll literally be keeping my hat on the whole time. Let me come a bit more in the shade. So I've slicked it all back. I put it in a really low ponytail, plaited the ponytail, and then kind of wrapped the plait around itself. So that is kind of what I'm left with. I hope you can see that. And then when I've got my hat on, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I hope I'm getting that. I thought I would bring you along with me and show you what is new in. And the cricket has already started. It starts at 1. It's now 1.39. So it's going to be about seven hours worth. So <laughs> I'm in no rush. I am going to be taking this, which I recently got from... Fragrance Direct, this is the Gino 30 SPF with like anti-aging in it and it's a mist so it's going to go on nice and easy and I just feel like if we're sat outside all day it's forecast 28, 29 degrees, it's going to get hot, hence the hat, I'm going to take my sunnies and take this little straw bag just to keep sun cream and stuff in without worrying about it getting a bit gross if it does, which it it won't, but you know, keeping sun cream in a bag, I'd rather keep it in a straw bag. This hat, by the way, is Zara. I featured it in my latest Zara haul. Love the little shell detail. I'm also just wearing this basic strappy black top, which is old Zara. And then this floaty skirt, which I think was from I Saw It First a while back. Was it I Saw It First or? I'll try and leave it linked because I do really like these kind of skirts. I'm actually gonna keep my eyes peeled for some more of these kind of skirts in Primark as well. And speaking of Primark, my little shoes are Primark as well. Just super cute slip-on sliders, just on the off chance that it ends up being a bit thundery. I'm just gonna bring our little hammock in. We got this uh, last year or two years ago, I can't remember, maybe last year, from being cute this is. Let's go. First stop is to get more fuel and OMG, 30 degrees. I am right outside, well, near enough. A stone's throw away from Primark, which is just there. And now car's about to, yep. What is he doing? So funny. Anyway, yeah, Primark is just there. I'm gonna head in now and see what's new in. This is pretty. It's like a nice kind of like burnt orange kind of color as well. 15 pound, nice summery dress. And I like this one as well, actually. I like the tortoise shell buttons. Love that. That is 15. Paired with a nice little straw bag. I'm loving all of these tones, these kind of beiges, creams, whites. They've even still got some trench coats. I'm not sure on this hat. What do you guys think of these kind of like wind hats? I also love this skirt. I've seen it loads, but I just don't know if it'd be too short on me. That's a 12. Hmm. 12 pounds. So as you could probably tell, I managed to show you a few new in bits but it's a Saturday and it's super, super busy. With the weather being this hot, I think everyone's just like flocked outside. It was hot in Primark and then I was like, oh, get me out for some fresh air. 
and it's not fresh at all. So I'm going to head off to Cricket now, but I don't know how long I'm going to last. As you can tell, I managed to get quite a lot. So I will be doing a full haul because it'd be too much to include within this video anyway. My little glossy box water bottle. This has stayed really cold actually, considering it's been in a muggy hot car. There is my view for the next several hours. It's actually, um, we're playing away at the minute. We're at Burnley Football Club. Well, it's not Burnley Football Club. That is the football club. And that is the cricket right next to it. So I'm going to perch myself over there somewhere. Nothing to see here. No McDonald's to see. Nothing to see. I'm going to call it a night here, guys. Whew. So the cricket boys, they won. So pleased. It is now 8 o'clock. I am back home. I, it's Saturday night, so I've got Sunday's video tomorrow morning, which I like to get up for 8 a.m. Oh, my laptop's dead. So I need to make sure that is all uploaded and scheduled tonight so that it's ready to go live in the morning. I think I've scratched myself here somewhere. I reckon I've been bitten. That looks like a bite. Oh, it's itchy. So I got myself some fries and there's some new cheese bites which I know so let's give it a try red Leicester melt mm. wow they're super cheesy the last ones that they did the nacho cheese bites were less intense but mm, they are good and a new flake McFlurry so that is going to round off this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed spending a few days with me. Definitely stay tuned for my new in Primark haul, which will be coming very soon. So thank you so much for watching and I'll hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.